In today's video, I'm going to tell you what you need to know about the Ozempic injection. The generic name for this medication is semaglutide. So first off, what is Ozempic? Well, Ozempic is an anti-diabetic medication typically used to treat type 2 diabetes, but it's also used to manage weight long term. Now, how does it work? Well, this medication is classified as a GLP-1 receptor agonist. GLP-1 reduces blood sugar in a fasting state and just after meals. It does this by stimulating insulin secretion and lowering glucagon secretion. In addition, GLP-1 is a psychological regulator of caloric intake and appetite. GLP-1 receptors are present in many areas of the brain that are responsible for appetite regulation. Now, before a patient was to use Ozempic, there are some precautions that should be mentioned. Sustained increases in resting heart rate have occurred with this medication. So monitoring of this is recommended and discontinuation may be necessary. Acute and chronic pancreatitis have both been reported with the use of Ozempic. This medication should be used cautiously in patients who have had anaphylaxis or angioedema when using other GLP-1 receptor agonists. And lastly, acute kidney injury has occurred as well as worsening of chronic renal failure. There are two contraindications for this medication or reasons patients would not be able to use it. One of them is medullary thyroid carcinoma or MTC and the other is multiple endocrine neoplasm syndrome type 2 or for short MEN2. Now let's talk dosing for both weight loss and diabetes. So for diabetes patients would typically start off with 0.25 milligrams injection once weekly and then after about four weeks or so they'd move up to 0.5 milligrams once weekly. If after using 0.5 for a little bit they need extra coverage, they could technically move up to 1 milligram once weekly, which is usually the max, but after 4 weeks of 1 milligram, the option does remain that a patient could move up to 2 milligrams once weekly, and that would be the definite max. When this medication is used for weight loss or weight management, they would typically use 0.5 milligrams once weekly for 4 weeks, and then every 4 weeks they would move the dose upward until they reach a dose of 2.4 milligrams per week. During the escalation of doses, if people have trouble tolerating the increases, they would just delay the increase by another four weeks. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects that patients may experience while using Ozempic, so I'll go over some of those here now. The percentages that I give are going to be for the weight management dosing. It should be noted that the percentages would go down if you were using this medication for diabetes as the dose is typically lower. Abdominal pain seems to happen 20% of the time, and constipation happens in about 24% of patients. Diarrhea can happen up to 30% of the time, and up to 44% of patients may experience nausea. 24% of patients may experience vomiting. And lastly, for common side effects, about 14% of patients may experience a headache. Some more rare but serious side effects would be an increased heart rate, medullary thyroid carcinoma, or finally, pancreatitis. That's all we're going to talk about today with Ozempic. Take care.